it was a very interesting transition. Um, I was very fortunate in that um, I was promoted to president, but the woman that I reported to, Nancy Tellum, um, had also been uh, promoted to overseeing both the studio and the network. So Nancy was incredibly generous at, you know, kind of opening up her office and saying and involving me in 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 uh, you know every all the deal making as far as all of the the sort of the the um, the process of you know running the network um, and and much of the skills that I had many of the skills that I had had learned along the way came back into uh, into play here um, obviously it was management of you know more direct reports as opposed to just my um, my department the drama development department um, but one of the things that I've never been shy about is asking questions um, if there's something I don't know um, if there's something I need to learn, you know, I will sit down and 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 really put myself through you know a rigorous um, um, learning process. Um, as I said, I'm not shy about asking questions. Um, I'm not shy about insinuating myself in in uh, in meetings. And um, so it was it was a pretty quick and and seamless transition um obviously i had more oversight of specials and, and daytime and late night and and it just it was a lot of um you know just familiarizing myself with um how daytime television worked how you know late night television worked there wasn't a lot of change um in late night or or daytime and so much of what the day in day out responsibilities focused on were um, primetime programming. Um, and in comedy, it was interesting. I had to certainly bring myself up to speed uh, with, with comedy development. Um, but I had, at the, at the end of my tenure at Warner Brothers, sold a comedy to NBC. When I was an agent, I obviously had a lot of clients who were doing uh, half-hour comedy, so I was used to being on comedy sets a lot. Sets a lot. Um, Wendy Trilling, who was the head of comedy at the time, was incredibly generous and 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 you know opened you know opened her arms and said you know this is. Um, this is how we de do things here, but we're completely open and flexible to sort of changing things up if you see fit. Um, and one of the first scripts that she gave me to read um, that she had developed in um, in comedy when I I, uh, I um, became president was How I Met Your Mother, and um, I fell in love with the script right away. Um, they were very fond of it. And I became an advocate for uh, for that project. Um, it was very different uh, from what we'd done in the past. Um, we had had How I Met Your Mother, How I uh, not I'm sorry, Two and a Half Men was on the air at the time. Um, Raymond was on the time so on the air at the time. So we were obviously very successful in the multicam format. But How I Met Your Mother was different. It was a hybrid. It was you know there was no live audience. There were a lot of setups. But I I just fell in love with that script and. And it had an emotional component to it that uh, most comedies didn't have at that time. I mean, you you got kind of misty-eyed at the end. It was a, a romantic comedy, but but the characters were very vivid. Um, and I remembered when I remember like it was yesterday when Neil Patrick Harris came in to audition for Barney, and who was really not the way um, the the creators had envisioned the role. But Neil came in and he won it in the room multiple times. He came in and auditioned twice for the part. Um, and I, I think about every casting session. I think about Jason Siegel, Kobe Smulders, Allison Hannigan. Allison was an offer at the time because uh, we were familiar with her. Um, and and I literally, when Josh Radner came in to, to read for Ted Mosby, I, I had heard about him from the theater. Um, but he was, he was, he, the cast itself was, was, a lot, was fresh faces. Um, even Neil hadn't done a, a tremendous amount of work as an adult actor. Um, and it was, and Kobe, who was, uh, we had had in a, in a drama pilot one or two seasons before, you know, lovely actress out of Canada. Um, it was, 
it was magic. I mean, it was lightning in a bottle. So um, the transition was was uh, was pretty seamless, primarily because I had you know been at the network a while, knew all of the players. Um, what I didn't learn, I was, as I said, certainly um, not shy about asking questions, and. Um, and I've always had a point of view. So if there's something that I was passionate about, um, I was outspoken. If and if I made a mistake and and was wrong about something, you know, you have to admit that as well. So 